you can earn $29,000 a month with bots doing most of the work with this passive income strategy that's really just an easy way to make money online with automation. So let's unpack that and have a look. You can see a bot running in the background here. Since I started the video, it's already contacted over 3,000 businesses. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let me show you what this is about. So, and this is PayPal. We have some money in Stripe too, but this is PayPal for the past 30 days. We can look at the past seven days. We can look at the past 90 days and so on and so forth, right? So I'm just gonna look at the past 30 days. It's $29,501. And I said that you could make $29,000 a month, which is where I'm kind of getting this number from. Again, this doesn't include PayPal. And look, I'm not trying to impress you, okay? There's a lot of people that make a lot more money than this. I am, however, trying to impress upon you that it's possible, right? So $29,000 a month, that's a fair amount of money. So if we jump open the calculator and you do $29,000 a month, right, times, say, 12 months, that's $348,000 a year. That puts, I, I don't know if it's the top 1%, but it's in the top couple of percent of earners at least in the United States, and I think that would probably qualify for around the world, and this is in US dollars, right? So maybe because you're not trying to quit your job and do whatever, right? Maybe you are trying to quit your job. This isn't a job, right? There's more flexibility than a job. In some ways, it's harder than a job, and you do have to do some work, right? I am going to show you how to make it passive, but there's some work up front, right? You got to build some stuff up. So anyways, if you made $29,000 a month, it's $348,000 a year. Don't work that hard. Don't make $29,000 a month. Make $15,000 or $10,000, right? Make $10,000, that's $120,000 a year. Whatever works for you, right? And it's also not overnight, not a get-rich-quick scheme. You're not going to, like, do this and have $29,000 in your bank account tomorrow. You know, that's just not how it works, right? And I can't teach you everything in one video. So let me get through what I have for you here so that you can get started with this. So we looked at the amount of money, like, to see that it's actually possible. So if this is the kind of video that you like, if you do me a favor and drop me a yes down in the comments. So it helps me with the YouTube algorithm, and it helps me to understand, hey, yes, this is actually what I want. I want more of like this because I have some more videos planned, but I don't want to make them if you're not interested. So hit me with a yes down in the comments if you like this kind of video. So basically, like I said, this isn't a job. When you have a job, you go there, you get you go to work, boss says, file this report, go over here and do this thing, right? And then you show up, you give your 40 hours or however much it is, make your cup of coffee, whatever, and then you get a paycheck, okay? So jobs equal do what you're told and get a paycheck, okay? There's some security in that, although they can fire you at any point, but still, you don't really have to think about it. You just have to do what you're told, show up on time, right? There's not a lot of flexibility. So this is a business, right? Business equals all the rewards, but it also equals sell stuff to get paid. If you don't sell stuff, you don't get paid, right? Uh, there's no paycheck. You sell stuff, you get paid. So the easiest way to sell stuff is to give away something for free to get your foot in the door, like a free sample. You probably got a food place or a free sample of some item or a free, you know, I don't know. If you go to the home store, you can get a free water test and then they're going to try to sell you something, whatever, right? It's something free and kind of gets you interested, build some trust, which is what we're trying to do. And then once you're in the door, your foot's in the door, then you can sell them something. So how do you do that, right? What are we even going to sell? Well, we're going to talk about what we're going to sell in step four here, but we have to actually get interested in the first place, right? So if you're going to give away a free sample of something, let's say you are, have tacos and you're trying to sell them, right? You got to have people to give the tacos away free to, right? Whatever it is that you're trying to give away free, if it's a free report, it's a free anything, you got to have the people, right? So that's where the bots come in. Because the hardest part is really to get the people. Most people fall into this category right here. So you have a business, right? And they have a product. They want to sell it. But they need customers. So in order to do that, this business has to now get customers so that they can sell their product. And then when they sell their product, that equals dollars, right? So the idea is how do we get customers? Well, you can do that with advertising. Of course, everybody knows you can buy ads on anything from a billboard to YouTube, right? Facebook, all the rest, right? You can do some direct outreach. You could walk around and hang door hangers on houses, right? I've done that before. I worked for a dry cleaning company and uh, the easiest way to get dry cleaning customers is to hang door hangers, right? So 
Uh, I've done that before, right? You can make phone calls. I did telemarketing when I was younger as a teenager. I wanted to earn some extra money. You can make phone calls and try to sell people stuff, right? And get customers and just start dialing phone numbers. All right, there's lots of ways that you can do that, but most people don't like to make cold calls. I don't. It's not terribly fun to walk around and hang door hangers. You know, it's not the end of the world, but it's also not exactly scalable, right? Buying ads obviously costs a lot of money. You got to have a good strategy because, and you got to get a bunch of data. So you usually have to spend a bunch of money up front, sometimes thousands of dollars just to get data so that the algorithms can work and understand what your ideal customer is. And then you can start making money on the ads. And then you still have to do it correctly. Otherwise, you lose tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? And, you know, I don't like to lose that kind of money, right? So the great thing about this is this is kind of just like a direct outreach using bots to do it for us, right? So what this bot is doing is it's going to, I'm just gonna stop it here. Let's see if we can, it's in high gear. So it's gonna take a second to stop. But what this bot is doing, it's going out to websites and it's submitting a message through their contact form. You've all seen a contact form. You go to a website, you click on contact us, you put in your email, your phone number, you know, and you ask a question about that website, right? And then that website owner gets that as a message. So for example, if we want to just look at, uh, if we go back here, and we can just go to Google, right? And let's say we want dentists or plumbers. I don't know, right? It doesn't really matter. Like you can literally do this with anything, right? So plumbers in Dallas, Texas, right? And so I'm looking for actual plumber, not like Yelp. Uh, oh, here, Barker Brothers Plumbing. Let's see if they're good. And so not every website has a contact form. Usually you can see it straight away. Here's contact us. What do we got? Uh, Looks like they're, yeah, so it's, it's just like this, right? This is a uh, longer one. There's a couple of different things, but basically you click on this, put in your phone number, call back time if you want, whatever, an email address and a message. And then when you, and then they want to confirm the email. When they get this message, you hit, you click agree, right? Uh, whatever, hit submit, right? So you can ask them about, you know, your leaky sink, right? Cause they're plumbers. You can also put in here, Hey, I have a product and you wouldn't obviously put this, but I will help you make more money Buy it and then put a link to the product. Right? So this is obviously just a template. We could use chat GPT, right? To write us up a nice message. We can do it from a lead standpoint by like saying, Hey, you know, well, I'll talk about more of that in just a minute, right? The point is, is we're going to send them a message and offer them an option to either reply to us or go to a link or something like that and then offer them something for free because who are we? Like they have no idea who we are, right? If you get a random message from a random person, you're probably going to delete it, right? I do. You know, same thing if a random text message or a random phone call, I'm going to ignore it if it's not on my caller ID. So you have to build trust, right? And that's where the free thing comes in because you're not trying to go to them and say, hey, give me money. You're trying to go to them and say, hey, I want to help you with your SEO so you can get more leads. Here's a problem I noticed about your website with you know, Google My Business. Let me fix it and help you get more leads, more customers, which ultimately makes you more money. In this video, I'm talking about SEO. I did a video yesterday talking about social media management. You know, So the list goes on, right? We could go through, there's tons of videos on this channel that talk about different angles. That's not really important. We're gonna talk about SEO today, but it could be anything. It could be your own products or services, affiliate stuff, doesn't matter. So basically you fill out the form, you submit it, and away they get it. Since we started this video, We've contacted 40,000 businesses and filled in a contact form and offered them a message. So what's the message? In this particular one, it is, this is something I was going to set up anyways for a different project. So I set it up to show you here. Basically, I saw your Google listing is not working. I saw your Google listing. It's not, well, it's not right. See, this is just me like talking in a casual tone. You can do a message with this. You can do a message, whatever. Like I experiment with different things. Like where Google shows customers about your business. I don't want to impose, but there's a couple of things that are just not right. May I tell you what they are, right? So then they're going to come back and they're going to reply to me and they're going to say, yeah, you can tell me what they are. And so then I'm going to say, all right, well, here's a free report. Here's a couple of things that are broken about your website, whatever. If you want, I'll fix one of them for free, right? And so then you can fix something for free. And they say, you know, yada, 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 whatever. Okay. Yeah. F fix one for thing for free. And then you say, Hey, listen, you know, I loved helping you out. I appreciate it. And if you're good, then that's great. Maybe you can give me a review, but if you want, there's some other stuff on your website that I could fix as well. Uh, but I, you know, I can't do everything for free. I just have to charge you some money for that. And then they're going to say yes or no. Right. Some people are going to say, yeah, cool. All right, let's fix it. And then, so you fix it and you charge them like 300 bucks for a few things or whatever. And then you come back to them and you say, okay, cool. Well, how about Google, my business listing? Well, how about your face, you know, your social media management, right? The list goes on. Once you have a customer that buys, then you're going to sell them more things because we're not just trying to make money here. Like you are, 
But you're not just going to businesses and say hand money. I mean, you're not like a charity, right? And charities are fine, but that's not what this is. What you're doing is you're offering to solve a problem. If you can help a business make more money, then you should get paid, right? You're solving a problem. What's their problem? They need more customers so they can make more money. If you, you should get paid a portion of that, right? And that portion might not be necessarily a percentage, but at some point there, some leverage point, you should get paid. And so that's what we're doing. So I'm going to start this back up and let it run. All we do is hit start, send message, and I'm going to click no. I want to send all messages is what that message was. And yes, that was just a preview of the message we just saw. And boom, we're cranking away. And you can see it flying through there. It sent, you know, like 300 messages, 400 messages just while I was talking there. And so pause the video for a second there because I had to cough. Uh, so... Look, you know, 42,000 messages since we started this video, that's 42,000 businesses that have been contacted and offer something for free, right? I'm going to tell them something wrong with their website, and that may be a report, and then I can say, actually, I made a whole report, and there's seven things wrong with your website. Can I get on a phone call to go over, over it with you? I'll give you the report, and then I can help you fix, uh, you know, fix something for free, right? Whatever it is that you say, and you get on the phone with them, you fix the thing for free, and then you start charging money. We already talked about that. Well, let's have a look at it. So if I can find the... Here we go. Uh, this website right here, right? It's scarytoolbots.com. So you can jump over to scarytoolbots.com and check this out. But what this is, is a list of AI tools that can uh, help you in different things. So there's uh, top picks, AI writing tools, there's AI image tools, AI audio tools. So you can get on the phone with them and say, hey, listen, here's a free report. Yeah, sure, fine. Okay, you fix something for free, which is not the fastest way to make $29,000 a month. And we're also not looking to make $29,000 a month just once, right? We want to make this every month. And I did say it was... A more passive strategy so how are we going to do this in such a way that it's passive right it's not a magic button where you just hit it and twenty nine thousand dollars shows up in your bank account tomorrow but we can be passive because we have bots automation uh and what i'm going to show you here in step four that basically allows you other people to do the work for you right so you jump on the phone with them you give them some free stuff you fix a few things that's just getting your foot in the door you make some money and that's kind of like the one-time payouts and that's the building trust once you have their trust all right cool you know would you like to go deeper and then you just get seo set up and again there's other videos you can do social media management but let's just talk seo for a minute so if you do seo how are you going to do seo right? And make $29,000 passively. It's probably hard enough to do $29,000 a month actively if you're fulfilling $29,000 worth of SEO services, because you got to do it. Even if you like hire people on Fiverr or hire a team to do it, then you got to manage that. People like affiliate marketing. They like affiliates. You can go to ClickBank and sell stuff. Uh, Warrior Plus or Commission Junction or the list goes on. Walmart, Amazon, whatever. When you do that, you're doing affiliate stuff on their terms. They tell you the terms. They tell you how much they're going to pay you. And, you know, if you have to follow their rules and do it their way and you got to get them to approve you and all the rest of the stuff, right? So there's an easier way to do this. And if you have your own products and services, again, that's fine. You can sell that. But like lots of people, I get on Zoom calls. I was on Zoom calls multiple hours today. I'll have multiple hours tomorrow. 
and multiple hours and another day this week and I'm already booked into Zoom calls next week, right? And over again, I hear the same thing. Some people have their own products and services. A few people want to sell affiliate stuff, but like the biggest thing is people don't have their own stuff to sell. They're not sure what to sell. And when you try to sell just straight up affiliate offers, it has its own set of challenges, but this kind of turns it into, you can be an affiliate, but you also get to set your own terms in a lot of ways. And at the same time, it's kind of more like a product or service. And the reason I say that is if you just go straight to affiliate, that is a slower path to money. And there's a lot of reasons why we don't have time to talk about that all in this video, but it's fine path to money, uh, but it takes, you have to build it up. So you got to like build it, right? It's more passive, but you got to build it. Where if you have your own products and you can get somebody on the phone and offer them something for free and then get your foot in the door, build trust, right? And then sell, right? That's a faster path. That's just the fastest path to making money. So this bridges the gap between both of those. You get to have the passivity of passiveness, passivity, I don't know if that's a word, passiveness of being an affiliate without having to uh, have your own products and services. So you get the passiveness of an affiliate, but you also don't have to have your own products and services, but you also get the benefit of having the fastest path to earn money. So what am I talking about? Let's just talk about it before I get off track. So here's an example. It's thatcompany.com. They are a white labeling SEO service. They also do other stuff. So you can white label SEO, pay-per-click, social media, reputation management, web design. So the list goes on, right? And you're going to do all that because remember I said sell them other stuff, but let's sell them the first thing. So there's different options here and you can call them up. My name's Ryan Borden. They, I've talked to them. They even know who I am. So you can call them up. Uh, there's two guys that do intake and then there's obviously more people that do the company, but they're great guys that help you out, answer your questions. And And they're going to get on a phone call. They're going to present their SEO services. They're going to close the person and sell that company for you into monthly services. So they charge monthly and you get a percentage of what they charge every single month. So long as for the life of the customer. Now that life of that customer is going to vary. But last I talked to them, their average customer was two and a half years. So if you sell a customer today, then you're going to get a reoccurring income, you know, on average based on those, that data for the next two and a half years from that customer. Now it won't last forever. Typically some will last longer, some will last less, but an average of two and a half years. So that's what I'm talking about here. Why is it passive? If we go ahead and sell them SEO services, we can message them, do something for free, give them a free report even, and give them like the uh, scary tool bots data there and that sort of stuff. Ask them if they're interested to buy SEO. Yes, they are. They get on the phone. That company sells them, takes over all of the customer service. They handle the customer service, the phone calls. They handle all of the account management. They do all of the SEO work. They do everything. All you have to do is you know bring them the customer so at that level you're kind of like an affiliate because they're really doing everything and you're just getting a percentage but it's more like a product because it is actually a, a service that they're doing and it's you can make more than $29,000 a month because they're doing all the work. So it's scalable. That's one of the benefits of affiliate marketing. It's scalable because somebody else is delivering everything, but you also have that benefit of like it was your own service or product because it is actually a service, not like an affiliate product itself, but you still don't have to fulfill it, which is the best of both worlds. You can just scale it to the moon. Now it's kind of like a hype saying whatever, but you get the point. If you get one customer, and you're bringing in that money every month. Well, then you have to sell the second customer. Well, now you're getting money every month from two customers. Then you sell the third and the fourth and the 10th and the hundredth, right? So you could build up enough customers so you have enough monthly money coming in and then kind of like go on vacation if you want. Or you could just like stay at it all the time, all year long, always adding new customers 
and build up a substantial monthly recurring revenue over time, and you could definitely exceed $29,000 a month and still not have to do the work. So you can take a vacation when you want, you can take time off. That's why it's on your terms because you don't have to continue to build. You can take time, but then you can build as much as you want, right? So there's a lot here, okay? Don't get me wrong. There's, you gotta set up the bots, right? There's obviously stuff that goes into setting this up and making this all work. It runs on a server. There's CAPTCHA solving that's here. Lots of stuff going on there. There's more to the strategy to talk about. Like, how are you gonna offer them a free thing? How do you actually get that lead back when they reply? How are you gonna handle like opt-out stuff? Like, there's some stuff to set up, right? You have to build it. You have to set it up. But once it's set up, then you can just build things up and that's when it becomes passive. So it's not passive like push one button and everything just works. I mean, that's not the real world. We all know that, right? But you can set stuff up in a strategic way and leverage the power of automation and bots and white labeling and other people doing stuff. And then of course, uh, the white, the SEO or that company is going to try to sell them other stuff like pay-per-click, social media, reputation management, website design, and you're going to get a percentage of all that stuff if they sell them all that stuff too. So that's how you can bring one customer and maybe you're making a small amount of money from SEO, but now they sell them 12 other things and now you're making a whole lot more money, right? So they work for you which is another great thing. So they're a great company. Anyways, there's other white label SEO companies. Just go to Google, type white label SEO company. There's a ton, but you can, you know, use that company if you want. It's just an example. The concept is there. So how do you do this, right? Well, if you want to do more, there's the master method, which is a master class that starts this Friday, actually. And so that's here just in a couple of three days. And there's going to be an entire checklist of there's an actual checklist and then a checklist of videos as well. So like a whole course plus a checklist that is going to walk you through these different strategies and different options. There'll be different methods, including like this style. And then other things, if you have your own product or service, if you want to just do traditional affiliate marketing, that'll be in there. And there'll be replays if you can't, but you can log in and you can ask your questions. You can even send them to us offline and then I'll answer the questions and you can talk about how you're doing and what's working for you and what's not working for you. And then somebody else will come on and say, yeah, I had the same problem and this is what I did and it fixed it, right? So that's the value of the live classes and being able to get your questions answered and help you. Like the point that I'm there and the community is to help you overcome the obstacles that you might run into because we all know there's going to be a couple of things that are like, you know, it just doesn't come together. All, sometimes it does, right? And the video list is going to be uh, comprehensive, but it's nice to have somebody there that you can say, is this the right thing to do even? And they're like, yeah, I'll be like, yeah, that's exactly it. You can show me what you got going on and away you go. So that is available. You can jump over to the link in the description and join the masterclass. And then if you do that, I will see you on Friday and every Friday for the next six weeks. And until then, happy earning.